Ê... <laughs> ah, Rattler. Oh, I think I'm a bit obsessed. Now listen boys and girls, hold on to your hats, because I've got an absolute corker for you today. I'm going to show you how to turn one of these, any old packet of cheap instant noodles, into this fine piece of art. That's right, we're going to make a budget cheats ramen. Now before I go any further, I should stress, this is not authentic, this is not traditional. Okay, I don't want to upset our Japanese friends, because a real traditional proper ramen like a tonkatsu, like that takes, that takes time. A lot of effort, a lot of work goes into making a good ramen. If you find a restaurant that makes a really good ramen, like look after them. Okay, because proper ramen is a work of art. But no one's got any pissing money anymore, have they? So I'm going to do an approximation, a ramen-ish dish. It's still going to deliver that salty, savoury vibe that's going to make you happy. Well, I hope. So it's going to be tasty, it's going to be cheap as chips, and it's easy, it's quick. But before we dive in, please do the usual thing. Like, share, subscribe, thank you very much. Share this to your friends and family, and crucially, those people that are in need. Cheap, easy recipes is what we all need right now. But anyway, let's get on with it. Get your face down here, I'll show you the ingredients. You could not be in a more inconvenient place if you tried. You okay down there? Huh? Oh, sorry, did I disturb you? I do apologise, sir. Okay, a little quick rundown of what I'm using in my ramen. But like I do sometimes, I will put swap outs on the screen. Okay, because you can kind of mix and match and use different ingredients. Got some leftover chicken from your roast dinner. You can add that as well. It's also a great way to use up any veg that needs using. It's gonna, it's gonna go bad. You can chuck that in as well. But I've got some chicken stock here, which I'm just gonna give a quick taste. Because not all chicken stocks are the same. So I just want to taste it for saltiness, which will give me a good idea how much, how much soy to use. That's fairly salty, but not too much. Yes, I've got some soy, got some chili oil as well, sesame oil, spring onion, lime, garlic clove, and about the same in ginger. A Little bit of carrot and a cabbage leaf. I've also got some eggs here as well. I'm gonna use one of those. And for reference, that's the chicken stock I'm using today. 55p for 10 stock cubes, can't go wrong. Okay, but use your favorite, use what you've got. And of course, our noodles. Any kind of instant noodle will work, but we're not gonna use the seasoning packet. Okay, but don't throw that away. Take it out, stick it in the cupboard. And then, you know, when you're making like a roast chicken, and then rub that over the chicken skin before you roast it. And I tell you what, you'll have the tastiest roast chicken skin of your life. And as well, all the ingredients and measurements will be in the description below this video, down there. So what I'm gonna do now is process all this, get all this sliced and diced, but you don't need to see that but I'm also gonna boil an egg, ready for our finished ramen. And all you need to do for that is take a pan of water, bring it to the boil, turn it down to a simmer, and then take your egg, plop it in, and then just kind of gently simmer that for about six minutes. That's gonna give us a nice kind of semi-runny yolk that's gonna sit nicely on top of our ramen. Once you've kind of boiled the egg, take it over to the sink, tip off the hot water, put the egg back in the pan, and just run some cold water over it just for a minute or so, because that kind of stops the cooking process so it doesn't overcook. And there you have your boiled egg ready to go. But I'm gonna get all this processed up, so I'll see you in a second, BRB. One debt to society later. Right, okay, so everything's ready to go. Egg's done. Garlic and ginger's kind of sliced. Oh, that's a bit bright, isn't it? Let's turn you around here so you can see. You know, I love ginger and garlic, so I put quite a bit in mine. If you want less, just tone it down, just half it. It's your dinner. We've got our veggies there as well, which is nice and finely sliced. Stock, sauces, we're ready to go. So I've got my frying pan here, and I'm gonna add just a touch of oil. It's a tiny little bit, it's fine. Get that onto a low heat, and I'm gonna add the ginger and the garlic. Nice and finely sliced. And just bring it to a gentle sizzle, and cook that out for like 30 seconds. We just wanna take the edge off it, that rawness, that kind of harsh flavor. We don't really want that in our ramen. And whilst it's doing its thing, I'm gonna add the stock to our pan. And I'm gonna bring that up to a gentle simmer. The ginger and garlic's ready, so whilst that's coming up to temperature, I'm gonna add that in. Plop. Once that's simmering nicely, I'm gonna add a little bit of soy sauce. Again, be careful with this. It all depends on how salty your stock is. You might need a, a little bit, you might need more. Mine's quite salty, so I'm gonna go with about half a teaspoon for now. I can always add a bit more at the end. A little squeeze of lime. Then I'm gonna go in with our veggies, not the spring onion though. Cabbage and the carrot. And I'm gonna simmer that for about a minute because the vegetables are gonna impart their flavor into the broth and we want them just cooked. We still want a bit of crunch. So about a minute is gonna be fine. 
Okay, so our veggies are done. And what I'm going to do for a second is just take them out and pop them on the plate just to one side for a second. What's the matter with you? You're meowing at. Leave the heat on. In with the noodles. But without the flavour packet, remember to put that to one side. And be careful not to overcook the noodles, okay? Again, they'll only need like a minute or so. Overcooked noodles are shite. They've got to have a bit of bounce to them, a bit of texture. Much like you'd have with pasta. If they're overcooked and mushy, it's a bad experience. So I'm going to cook those for a minute and we are pretty much there, folks. This is like super easy. Anyone could do this. Even you could do it, couldn't you? Yeah? You all right? Exactly. Right, it's done. It's, it's ready to go. Got our noodles here that are nicely cooked into a bowl with all that broth as well. I'm going to take our veggies. You know, I want it to look kind of nice and pretty. I'm going to take my boiled egg, which should be nice and runny inside, if Adam knows what he's doing. Look at that. Nice fudgy yolk. I'm going to nestle that just in there like that. And it really is all about your condiments and what you put on the top. So what's going to make this? I'm going to add a touch of sesame oil. Be very, very careful with this stuff. It is very potent. Okay, just a few little drabs, dribs, whatever. I'm going to add a little bit of salt to my egg. A little extra soy. Just a little few shakes. And I've got some crispy chilli oil here. You could use sriracha if you want. Or leave it out. Some spring onions, a spattering of those. And finally, just a little piece of lime. We'll pop you there. And look at that, Cheats Ramen, cheapest chips. It tastes great, hopefully. Let's give it a whirl. Cheapest chips, budget, Cheats Ramen. Aya. It's flipping off that bowl. The first thing I'm gonna go for is this egg. Cause it just, it's singing to me. Burford Browns, flipping brilliant eggs. Some of the nudes. <coughs> Could put a bit too much chilli oil in that. It is potent stuff. Let's give it a bit of a slurp as well. Oh. For me, it's the perfect balance of saltiness, the acid from the lime, nice crunchy fresh veg. So there we have it. That's my budget cheats ramen. Make it. Take any old cheap packet of noodles, some veggies, a bit of stock, nice eggs, some seasonings as well and you've got a satisfying, healthy, cheap meal. But listen, I'm gonna go, because this is starting to get cold now, and I don't want it cold. If you've enjoyed the video, please stick a like on it, share this to your friends and family, and again, the people that are in need. These cheap meals are gonna help people out at this crucial time. So I'll see your gorgeous faces in the next video, and ta-ta for now. Beep, beep.